First, though, tonight a community comes together to help after a 13 year old with cancer makes a very difficult decision about his own care. 41 Action News reporter Shannon Halligan spoke with a doctor about this impact and how family and friends took all of this news. Shannon. Last week, doctors told this seventh grader that he had a 0% chance of beating his cancer. And he asked for one simple thing, though, and so far, he's surpassed his goal. I can't balance this real well. Red Hall just wants to ride again. He really wants to fo a four-wheeler because he, he was a big dirt bike rider before everything happened, and he wants to be able to chase his brother around for a little while. The 13-year-old from Mound City stopped riding nearly two years ago when he was diagnosed with cancer. But when the cancer came back last week, he didn't want anything to stop him now. Probably just like make my own trails and just ride around on it. Rhett told his classmates he wouldn't be fighting the cancer this time. They would just like poke me and with needles and st stuff, so I just. So I told them I decided to stay here with them. Half a million Americans die from cancer every year. It's a difficult situation for their doctors as well. But any cancer, typically the first shot you have at it is your best shot. Dr. Michael Shalitz, a brain and spine tumor specialist at the University of Kansas Cancer Center, didn't treat RET, but he has to give patients their chance of survival and recommendations. Ultimately, it's a case-by-case -case basis. Eventually, for an individual patient, as you reach a point in time where, based on your values and your goals, you know, the expected benefit just isn't worth the price that I would have to pay from a side effect standpoint. And because of the support, Rhett's getting his four-wheeler, and his family even has money left over to help with his medical expenses. Live in the studio, Shannon Halligan, 41 Action News.